guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, if you couldn't already tell from the title, I am doing a Khloe Kardashian inspired makeup look. I did a poll on Twitter as I've been doing a lot of lately. So if you'd like to help make a decision on what videos I'm going to film next, make sure to follow me there. But you guys decided that you wanted to see A, a makeup tutorial, and B, you chose a Khloe Kardashian themed makeup tutorial, so I thought that I would do that for you. And the photo of inspiration that I took was actually this one right here. I don't know why, just maybe because our hair is similar, and I thought that that was just something that I'd like to do because I love glowing skin. So if you'd like to see how I achieved that look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off this look, I want to use a lot of products that are gonna keep my skin matte because her skin is always so flawless and um, you know, unless she's doing a dewy makeup look, her skin typically looks pretty matte. But then in the picture that we're going to be using today for reference, she has a pop in highlight. So we're going to kind of incorporate super matte skin with a beautiful shiny highlight. So my favorite primer right now for matte skin is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Love this stuff, feels so good and like, I just feel like it gives an incredible covered layer on the skin for a really nice smooth blank canvas and it kind of has a tackiness to it but when it dries it's just this beautiful smooth layer on your skin. Okay once I feel like everything is nice and covered I'm going to go in with my foundation. So the foundation I'm going to use is actually different for a change. I'm not using the Urban Decay All Nighter although it is definitely one of my most loved, but I am using a new foundation that I just started trying actually yesterday. And honey, I was blown away with how long it lasted, how matte my skin was, it didn't get cakey, it's just a miracle. So that is the Wonder 2 Cosmetics Last and Foundation 24 hour coverage. I 100% agree this has like 24 hour coverage. It was insane that I went to bed last night and right before I washed my face, I couldn't believe, like seriously, like what? Like, how is it still perfect? So I'm using the shade O2 in sand, and then I'm taking a beauty blender and blending that all over my face. I love this, it gives a nice, beautiful, and buildable coverage. It goes on very nice and light, but because it's buildable, you can end up getting the coverage that you want, and then it dries this just incredible matte way. Like, I don't even understand how it works, but it's I love it. Okay, so now that that's all nice and blended, I'm going to go in with a concealer under my eyes. I feel like her eyes are always really bright and there's definitely a lot of highlighting and contouring going on with their makeup. So I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's just my absolute favorite concealer. I feel like it gives amazing coverage. It blends really nicely. It stays all day. It's just the best. The shade that I'm using for reference is the shade Fair. So I'm just gonna pop that under my eyes. And I also feel like, since there's so much highlighting and contouring going on, there's definitely some added to the forehead a bit and into the nose. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. And I wanna kinda bring it into the sides of my nose. That's gonna help sort of shrink the nose down a little bit because she definitely has a very contoured nose as she claims there's no nose work. But anyways, I'm going to try to make my nose just a little bit more petite. Okay, so now I have like the center of my face nice and highlighted and the next step is to immediately make sure that it's set so it doesn't crease. So one of my favorite setting powders right now is the Kiss New York Professional in Invisible or Translucent. It's just a white setting powder and it's extremely affordable. And then this is kind of what it looks like. So if you're looking for it in the drugstore, that way you can find it. But I truly actually really love this. I'm almost out of it. But again, I'm going to set, use my sponge to set it. And because she has such a contoured face, I'm going to actually bake the powder for a little bit so that it really sets in that shape that I want. So as scary as we look, we're gonna let that sit 
and <laughs> it literally feels so crazy. But I'm gonna set the rest of the foundation with a foundation type powder because again, they have full coverage foundation, heavy, um, very contoured, very matte. So that's what we're trying to stick with. For that, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in light medium. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and set the rest of that foundation because I want to make sure that it keeps my foundation in place all day. And we're going to make sure not to go over where we just baked because we want to hold that shape. I am going to start with the forehead first because my forehead tends to get lines if I don't wipe away the bake too quickly. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, I'm going to start wiping away the edges first because I want to get those blended in and then slowly just taking that brush and wiping everything away okay so now we're still looking a little nuts but I'm gonna go in and start contouring so I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm taking a Real Techniques sculpting brush this has just been one of my favorite sculpting brushes lately and she has quite a heavy contour, so we're just gonna kind of mimic exactly that. Starting back towards your ear. seems so crazy I have like so much powder on my face but I feel like they just have so much contouring going on okay so now that my face is extremely contoured <laughs> I am going to use the buxom Maldives bronzer because I feel like she definitely wears a lot of bronzer as well so I'm gonna kind of start at the apples of my cheeks just to warm up my face a little bit more I am nowhere near as tan as she is, clearly. Now I really want to go for that glow that she was having in the photo, so I'm going to take this Dalton Liquid H2 Glow. It's just a liquid highlighter that is really easy to blend on the cheeks using a beauty blender, and you're going to want to put it on the points of your face that you would typically put a powder highlighter. Smush of it and blending all into my skin. And you really wanna make sure you blend liquid highlighters in well, otherwise it's just super obvious where it is you put it. So I typically focus on exactly where I want it to be, and once I kind of blend it there, I'll start kind of blending out the edges. For highlighter, I wanted something that was really gonna pop, and for my skin tone, the Becca Cosmetics Pearl Highlighter does that for me. So I'm going to just take a brush, and ever so slightly, because if you go in too hard with it, it just becomes kind of a mess. I'm just going to, with a light hand, start applying it, and blending it softly but I mean oh my I love how just bold it is I feel like for this look this is exactly the highlighter we want okay I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera her eyebrows are different all the time sometimes they're really full sometimes they're a little bit more shaped so for this I kind of just doing what I think looks best on my face shape and then we can continue so now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Morphe Eyelid Primer. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette because when I did my poll, the Khloe Kardashian makeup won, but the ABH Soft Glam was second, so I thought I could incorporate both for those of you who wanted either one. I'm going to take the shade Tempora right here just to set my lid and I'm using a Sigma E40 brush to do so. I'm gonna go in with Orange Soda, which is the shade right here. Still taking that same E40 brush, and I'm gonna apply it right into my crease. This is just gonna be a really nice transitional shade for the rest of the eye. 
And I'm just gonna kind of put it on the outer corner as well to help blend. Now I wanna go into the shade Burnt Orange, which is gonna be this shade right here. Same brush, E40, tighter into the crease this time. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend out those edges with whatever is left on the brush. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the shade Rustic, which is this shade right here. And I'm taking my Sigma E25 blending brush, and that I'm going to start focusing in the crease in the outer corner, but I'm also gonna start blending it on my lid. So first I just wanna start in the crease. And now I'm doing my outer corner and I'm slowly patting it on the lid to build up that color. Taking the E40 and just starting to blend out the brown a little bit more. Next I'm going to be taking my Wicked Liquid Pen Eyeliner from Sigma and I'm just lining my lash line because she clearly had some kind of liner with the false lashes that she had on. So I'm going to do it a little thicker than normal. Now I'm going to take some mascara to darken my lashes up top. And this is just like the J. Manuel mascara. For the lower lash line, she definitely had it smoked out, so I do want to go in with a black liner just along the lash line in the shade Call Me from Buxom, and it's just a black pencil liner. So I'm just going to kind of go along the lash line a bit. Okay, and then to smoke that out, I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber, which is right here, and I'm taking an angled brush and dipping that in and just kind of smoking out that liner that we did. All right, and now I'm gonna add some of that same mascara on my lower lash line. I'm gonna put some false lashes on and then we can continue. Okay, so my lashes are done. I did my hair while they were drying and now I really wanted to focus on highlighting my brow bone because again, I feel like this look has really nice highlighting. So I'm gonna go in with that same highlighter I used to highlight my cheeks, which was the Pearl Highlighter from Becca Cosmetics. And again, you wanna go in with a light hand because this does come off very pigmented if you're not careful. So I'm just going to go in with a light hand and then slowly blend it out. Perfect. Okay, so for the lips, this is going to be the last step to this, is they were definitely a nude, but they did have a gloss on them. So I'm going to start with a lipstick and then top it with some sort of nude lip gloss. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Stark Naked in their Comfort Matte Lipstick Collection to first apply just that base color. And then to add some of that gloss that she had in the picture, I'm taking the Urban Decay Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in Midnight Cowgirl. This is a nude, but definitely has a bit of a shimmer to it. I felt like in that picture there was some kind of like gold shimmer to that lip gloss, so I think this is actually going to be a perfect color. So now you can see the finished look with everything together. The eyes are a little bit smoky. We didn't do anything too dark with the eyeshadow itself because I felt like it was really about the liner and the smoked out lower lash line. We made sure that the skin was really glowy and also very contoured, so a little different than what I'm used to. I don't typically contour this much. So, 
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that this was somewhat easy for you to understand and easy for you to recreate. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time.